not returning, Daddy. I've got a vacuum chamber. Let's make stuff. Today, we're going to be doing some mould making using a vacuum chamber. Read all instructions and be safe. Let's take a closer look at what I've got. I got all this kit from HVAC store. And they were really brilliant and helpful. And uh, this is what they've supplied me with. We've got a 19 litre vacuum chamber and uh, with the all the necessary fittings and the uh, pressure gauge and a two-stage vacuum pump and these um, these are brilliant these it's really quiet and very efficient uh, this is a two cubic feet per minute pump um, and uh, you have to fill it with oil it's got a little oil gauge on the end there uh, and you get the oil with it and it's a brilliant bit of kit this is something I have wanted for years long before YouTube or anything like that because I've made moulds and things for years and I've always wanted a way of uh, degassing stuff and and also stabilizing wood so I've finally got the kit I need um, if you're going to order a kit like this it's generally recommended if you can if you've got the money to get the two-stage pump they are a lot more efficient Apparently they're a lot quieter too. Um, I, have, I have to say this one is really quiet. This uh, has got an inch thick acrylic lid, an aluminium can, no handles on it to leak or anything. And it reaches full vacuum really quick. Very impressed with that. Uh, I'm gonna use it for mold making, for degassing silicon. And that's what we're going to do a bit of in today's video. I'm also going to use it for impregnating wood with resin to stabilise it for knife handles and, uh, and other wood turning projects as well. Uh, and, and also for degassing resin before pouring it. So it's got lots of uses. Um, before anyone messages me about acrylic lids and uh, stabilising resin, I've done some research and asked some questions and it's fine uh, it's a very thick lid um, when you look on mesquite man's uh, you know the cactus juice website they say it's the thin acrylic lids that can cause problems the other thing is this is a very tall container the stabilizing resin is going to be in a separate container inside without a lid on obviously uh, and it's tall enough that splashes shouldn't reach the uh, the acrylic lid and if you're managing to va vaporize um, stabilizing resin you're doing it wrong so um, that's the plan stay tuned and we'll make some molds I start by making the masters that I'm going to make the mold from I'm using some solvent weld plumbers pipe with some plastic card and welding them together with some uh, solvent just cutting off the excess so I've got a nice closed cylinder and then hot gluing on a strip of wood and this will form the uh, sprue or the reservoir for the um, resin and I'm then gluing this onto a melamine baseboard it's a bit of chipboard with melamine coating on it there we are just checking it's all okay and now I'm hot gluing some uh, acrylic pieces around the side to form the shuttering for the uh, silicon or the housing for the mold hot glue is great it fixes things instantly and it forms a good seal at the same time here's a skull i made well quite a few years ago now it's carved out of english holly uh, which is a lovely wood if you can get it dry without it splitting I've put a screw through a base and now i've screwed the skull onto that and added some extra little sprues and here, just gluing a cylinder around it, and this is going to form the housing. Just hot gluing the seam I've created up the side. Here are the finished moulds, and or well, the housings for the moulds, and uh, these are the masters in the middle. 
So these two are going to be for specialist blanks that for an upcoming projects. They're what I'd call stingy blanks because they're round, so you're not wasting resin on corners that you're going to take off when you put it on the lathe. But I have actually got a specific project in mind for these. So I've got a narrow one and a bigger one. And they're ready to pour. And here's my skull carving. And that's all ready to pour. And so next job is to mix up the silicon. I've also cut up an old mould uh, that I made a year or two back um, because these little bits of silicon are quite useful for packing out the mould as you pour it sometimes. If you haven't quite got enough uh, fresh silicon to pour in you can pad out the mould and make your silicon go a bit further using these old pieces. This is another MBFG product, uh, MB fibreglass uh, product and it's a, a silicon um, for making moulds. So it comes in two parts, you've got the main body and the catalyst. Read the instructions carefully. Um, you have to mix it thoroughly using the exact weights and once you've mixed it thoroughly you pour it into a second container and mix it again because containers tend to have the unmixed stuff around the sides. Now I've had this in my garage for a long time uh, and it really does have a limited shelf life so uh, I'm not sure if it's still going to work but we'll give it a go. I pour the base into a plastic bowl. I don't need to measure this because I'm using the entire volume of um, base and catalyst so I know it's the correct amount. Just tipping the catalyst on top and then I very carefully start to stir it in being careful not to slop it everywhere. You can gradually uh, stir it a bit more easily as you incorporate the catalyst. You've got quite a long working time with this stuff. Now I'm pouring it into a tall jug, a plastic jug, mixing it a bit more. There you go, you can see there's lots of air in it. And here I'm uh, switching on the um, vacuum pump and I've put the tall jug into the uh, vacuum chamber. I do moderate the pressure a little bit so that it doesn't rise up and overflow from the uh, over the sides of the jug. Tall jugs are very useful for this. But uh, it's all done after a few minutes and I um, then gently release the vacuum. But here's a view inside. It's a speeded up view but you can see it all bubbles, rises right up and then the bubbles pop and it sinks right back down. And then I just left it for a moment or two longer just to finish degassing. Then we're all done. Pressure released and I take it out. It's then a case of pouring the moulds. You tend to pour it in a steady stream from a fair height and you pour it into the corner of the uh, housing and let it gradually rise up around the master. That way hopefully you're minimising the amount of air. I'm tipping the skull to one side just to release air that would otherwise get trapped under its chin and uh, here I'm packing out the mould with some old silicon mould pieces just pressing that gently down into the silicon try not to incorporate any air if I can just packing out one of the other blanks as well this just makes the silicon go a bit further here are the uh, moulds um, I've left them 24 hours uh, this is the one for the larger blank and the degassing of the silicon looks like it's worked really well because usually when you pour this silicon you get quite a few little popped bubbles on the top and there's only a couple and they were probably there from putting the extra bits of set silicon in just to make the resi the, um, the silicon go further because I was running out in fact I ran out on the uh, the second of these blanks and I was really trying to scrape together to fill up the mould um, but uh, these two have come out well yeah certainly it's all set very nicely so the next job is to demould them here I am wrestling with the mould housings just using a, a Stanley knife and breaking away the uh, plastic housing I keep this um, housing uh, to use for when I actually um, cast in the moulds. 
Now I'm breaking away the other one. Just uh, pulling that out. They both work very nicely. Just putting the screw back into the wooden skull and I'm cutting a wiggly line on this. This helps the halves of the mould relocate accurately back together. And just doing this with a very sharp scalpel and just dissecting the uh, the mould apart and then pulling out the skull. The skull, by the way, I'd put um, some fresh uh, wax on before um, pouring the uh, silicon around it. Sorry to leave you hanging a bit with this uh, video um, because I've, I've made the moulds and I'm not actually filling the moulds today. But I don't want the video to be too long-winded. Um, and I'm, this is actually the first of a series of videos where I'm going to be showing ways of using vacuum and pressure to make things. Uh, this is the first one, like I say, mould making. Uh, I've got more planned where I'm using a pressure chamber to cast into the moulds. We're going to do some wood stabilising uh, using vacuum and a bit of pressure as well. Uh, and some more turning product, uh, projects coming up as well. So there is some more uh, wood turning associated with this as well. But really uh, I'm exploring the use of pressure chambers and vacuum chambers uh, in, the, in the combining wood and resin and mould making. So you're all things I love doing and they're bits of equipment that I've always wanted. This is the silicon I used in this project. Uh, it's a condensation cured silicon from MBFG in Northern Ireland. Um, if you're going to do any mould making, just check which silicon you can use with which resins because they are not all compatible. So uh, just double check that. Certain um, clear resins, polyesters and things, you cannot use with condensation cured silicons and you must use uh, addition cured silicon so just be careful to check compatibility before you spend a lot of money on the wrong silicon. HVAC store have given me a discount code for my viewers to use uh, it gives you 10% off um, if you put it on at the checkout the code is Jimson2018 but I'll put uh, the details in the description anyway thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon with more videos Thank you very much to all my loyal subscribers and thank you for all the lovely comments I receive. I try and reply to everyone. But stay tuned, we've got more videos coming in this series, uh, plus some wood turning. And don't forget Makers Central, May the 5th and 6th, 2018 at the NEC in Birmingham. I'll put all the details in the description. More videos coming soon.